Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Jaclyn Cosmetics collection. I got one of everything and I am excited to try it and I'm excited to tell you guys what my thoughts are on every single product. So if you're excited or wondering what I think about these products, are they worth it? Then go ahead and keep watching. So I got two of the Face It All Brightening and Setting palettes. I got medium to tan and then I got light to medium because I just wasn't certain which ones were going to be for me. And also, to be honest, during the summer I am much darker or more tan than I am during the winter. So I was like, I'm going to just get two of these just to make sure I get the right ones. And those are $39 a piece. I know that they are currently only on her website where I believe they're coming in to Ulta stores the third. 30th of May, 31st of May, I'm not really certain. I'm looking on her website though and all of the palettes are still available except for the Fair to Light. And if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone because the paper did not come with any like prices or anything. Like you would think that it would, but it doesn't. So then I got the Bake and Brighten Under Eye Powder in Brightening Light Banana. And this one is $29. Currently, there are all of them still available. The lilac, the pink. So all of them are still available for this one. Wow. She did really good stocking up for these then. And then I got the Prep Starter Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Yes, and this one was $24. This one is only $5 more than the under eye primer, so I'm just like, mm, I wish the primer would have been just a little bit less expensive. That's just my personal opinion. And then the last thing I got was the Last Act Translucent Setting Powder, and this one was $28. So now that you guys see, I got one of everything except for the face palettes. I had to get more than one because I didn't want to get the wrong shade. So we're going to get into it. And just so you guys know, I did use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette. I just figured, you know, we would just, you know, Jaclyn it up since that's what I'm doing today. It's a Jaclyn Cosmetics review. So I've already prepped my skin, moisturized and all that. Obviously you see that I also have eye makeup on just to make this video not six hours long. So I've already moisturized and I'm just going to put on my primer and I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip. Going back to an old favorite. I love this primer, it's so good. I'm actually gonna be using a lot of Jaclyn's products just because I figured, you know, do like maybe like a full face situation. I'm pretty certain I have like one of everything to be able to do that. So we're gonna go in with this under eye primer. Let's see if it tells us how to use it. Just on her website. And that one is sold out by the way, the primer. I don't know if I said that or not. How to use. Squeeze the tube to dispense a pearl sized amount for each eye. Glide the cooling metal tip along the under eye area and gently pat with your finger. Jack hack, put your prep starter primer in the refrigerator overnight for an extra depuffing. Okay, I'm not doing that right now. Um, Why do we think prep starter is best for under eye? I don't care about that. Okay, so let's see. So we're just supposed to do like a pearl sized amount under each eye. So there is a brand, I don't remember what brand it is and you guys can let me know down below that had one similar to this. I wanna say Charlotte Tilbury, I don't remember and I never really used it. So I'm just like, hmm, it feels really nice. There's no smell to it. And again, this was $28 for this little thing. So I'm now gonna go in, like she said, and just pat away, pat, 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 pat. Ooh, I will tell you, it is instantly hydrating my under eye. <laughs> so that is really, really nice. Wowza. Ooh, I like how that feels. So I will say, I, I really, really like that. Like, I like how it feels. And if you can see, like, it is super hydrating, super luminous. And it's almost kind of like giving like a very, what is the word I'm looking for? What is the word? L like plumping, like a plump, like it's giving my skin, it makes it look like less dense. Like it just looks soft and it looks plumped out. It looks good. It looks good. Now that we have that, we have to go into foundation. So she doesn't have any foundation. So I obviously have to go in with my own foundation and my own concealer. So I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Stick Foundation. And then I will go over that and mix the Faux Filter Liquid Foundation. I'm trying to get these eyebrows to just chill the freak out. I will say my foundation looks really, really nice over this primer. Like, look at that. Hmm, okay something we didn't know we needed. I feel like I've never been like, oh, I need an under eye primer. But to be honest, 
I mean, I probably do. I have really, really dry under eyes. So I'm using the Ultra Creamy Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. I did this in a haul. Um, this is the shape tape, but it's like creamier, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. However, uh, I haven't used it yet, so it's the first time I'm using it. It's very fragrant. It's like soap. And then I'm gonna go in with another beauty blender. Now here's where it gets interesting. Like how does it do with the concealer on it? I really like this concealer. Wow, I might actually actually I might actually actually I might actually actually I think I might actually like this better than the original shape tape Like it still gives me that coverage, but it's really really nice. It's not bite. This seems still very hydrated for having like foundation and concealer on now obviously it's gonna be the powder that I'm looking at but as for the primer, I actually really, really like how it's making my under eye look. Like it doesn't look caked down. So we're gonna go in and set first. I'm looking to see which one. Okay, so this is the light to medium one. I'm trying to show you guys without blinding you. So this one is the medium to tan. Hmm, I think, I think I'm gonna go in with the light to medium, yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It says on her website for the light to medium, peach is a corrector, almond is a brightener, light banana is a corrector, and caramel is a brightener. So I'm gonna go in with this one, which is peach. All right, so I'm gonna go in and get some of this on my brush. Um, we're gonna set under here. I did the correcting one because I feel like I need to do that color correcting since I didn't use my Becca color corrector. So I'm gonna do that. It's actually really not drying. Uh, so if you guys know, I had recently gotten the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder that she had recommended. Jacqueline had actually recommended it. And like when I tell you, as soon as I put it on my face, it was like, <laughs> like this doesn't do that. And just like look, oh my gosh, this looks so good. And I'm not doing like my nose and stuff because I'm gonna do that with the loose powder. Ooh! Oh my gosh! I think if you're close to my skin tone, light to medium is gonna be perfect for you. And like I said, during the summer I do get a little bit darker. I'm actually more tan than I look on camera. <laughs> but all of these lights just like wash my color right out. So I do get a little bit darker. So that one's gonna be perfect for that. It doesn't look cakey or crusty musty either. Like I do have my lines here. But uh, it doesn't matter what setting powder I use. I have fine lines under my eyes, so they always show up whenever I put powder on. It Some just make it really crusty down here. So as long as I'm not crusty down here, I'm totally fine with it. So I'm okay with the, that for right now. I'm just letting it sit to kind of see what happens. So now I'm gonna go into the Brightening Light Banana. And we're gonna, so it's like that. Oh, I like how it's shaped. And I like the frosted glass. That's really pretty. I'm going to go in with my wet beauty sponge and I'm going to pick up all of that from the lid. And I'm just going to go in here and brighten up a little. I feel like this one is a little more drying. I can feel that it's a little bit thicker of a formula. So I can feel that under my eye. However, it's very luminous. I expected this to be more of a matte situation and I feel like it's more luminous. So I'm just putting it wherever I put my concealer. Wow. I really, really, really like this, like 100%. This is actually not bad. It is making it a little bit tight under my eye, so it is a little bit more drying than I expected it to be, where the palette did not do that at all. So I think out of the two, I prefer the face palette over the powder. That made me bright. And I did, like I said, light banana, which I think was actually a perfect shade for me to go, because I was in between that one and banana. So I'm kind of glad I went light banana. Still not a lot of cakey, makey, crusty, musty. So that's nice. I really like this. However, however, you don't get a lot for as expensive as this was. Because this one, if I'm not mistaken, was like $30. So this is $29 and you're getting six grams. Let's compare. So the Huda Beauty one is $34 and this is just for comparison. This is one of my favorite. And Jacqueline's is $29. This has 30, no, I'm sorry, this has 20 grams of powder in it. This has six. Like you're getting like literally nothing. So if I have to say pass on this, definitely pass on this because I think that the palette, you're getting more bang for your buck, if you will. You're getting a lot more colors and it's less drying to me. If you're super oily, then this may be something that you're gonna want, but I just find that for six grams, six grams, honey bunny, $30, 
for six grams is a little bit expensive. It's a little bit expensive, okay? It's my honest opinion, it's kind of a ripoff. Like, that's really pricey for six grams. Six grams? Oh my god. I didn't realize it until just now though. So now I'm going in with the Last Act Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to do this all over. I will more than likely not use this very often simply because I have extremely dry skin so I really never need like an all over setting powder if that makes sense. So if you have oily skin this is going to be more of something that you want to use. I really do not so I don't I try to use like only powders under my eyes like when it comes to setting but oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That most definitely smoothed out my entire face. Like it almost made it look like like just airbrushed like on the cam Ooh. on the monitor it does not pull off as much as like on my mirror it is it looks like just smooth am i now an all over powder gal am i am i i <laughs> might be so we're gonna go into bronzer which i have her duo so i'm using for bronzer bronze moment and sun kiss I will say putting my bronzer and stuff over that translucent made it like really, really good and blendable. So that's nice. Sometimes I feel like if I put too much powder on, it can tend to get a little cakey. So now I'm gonna go in with blush. And I'm going in with the blush from that same duo. I like how these powders are turning out to look on my face, like especially my under eye. <laughs> look at it. <sighs> like the proof is right there like it looks good i'm not gonna lie to you guys i i'm a fan this is a good product okay and i think i even might like the loose powder like it doesn't feel tight anymore like at first you could feel it kind of like absorb but now it's just, i'm just looking at my skin and i'm like ah! she looks good okay i need to calm down i've not been excited for a makeup product like this in so long i'm like honestly i don't care who made it it's Freaking phenomenal. So I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Flash Palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with Sparks, which is right here. I'm trying not to blind you guys, <laughs> but that's the one I'm going in with. I try that all the time. Like I just try to make sure I'm not blinding you guys. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so obsessed. And I do feel like, I will tell you, I feel like the translucent, like the all over one, the last act, I feel like that was luminous. I don't think that that's like a full blown matte situation where I was kind of worried that it would be because, you know, I can't do matte like all over my face. It's super dry, but I don't feel as though that's what that is. Like I kind of have like this luminous situation going on. So I think I will say if you have super oily skin, that all over situation may not be for you. I don't, but I honestly, I feel like these products are like really, really nice for my skin. Like I don't, as much powder as I just put on my face, like I don't feel like I've put a lot of powder on. Does that make sense? So I think I'm going to go in with my Max Fix Plus and just kind of, I know it looks really wet, but I do that on purpose. <laughs> I do it on purpose. So I'm going to hop off camera and I'm going to put my eyeshadow on my under eye and my lipstick on and then we will be right back and we will discuss my final thoughts on all of these powders. All right, guys. So what are my final thoughts on the new Jaclyn Hill powder face collection? I don't know what it's called. I kind of love it. Okay. I kind of love it. So I really, really recommend the face palette. I love that you have so many different options here where I think I didn't really need to get two of them. I'm glad that I did, but I really didn't have to. And you get so many different colors and different powders for the amount of money that you're paying for those. I liked that they were very light, but they covered what I needed to and set what I needed to. I will definitely say that I loved this. I absolutely love this. And when it comes back out, I'll be getting a couple. So it doesn't like, you know, get discontinued or something crazy like my favorite things always tend to do. So I really do like this. I think that if you have issues with dry skin, this is going to be something phenomenal. So I did a video where I basically tried a, it's a Wayne Gloss technique. I'll put the video here. And basically what I did was I put regular primer and stuff under my eye and it turned out okay, but it was kind of thick and you could tell that it was kind of thick. This, however, I feel like did not give me thick vibes at all. It was thin. It was hydrating. I felt it like literally plumping my skin 
as it was being put on like it's really really nice and this is a cooling metal piece like I will say it was kind of cold I won't put it in the fridge but she said you can put it in the fridge overnight to give it more of like a I guess cooling depuffing effect but I really really enjoyed this one as well I will say that's probably one of my favorite items now for the last act translucent again I'm not an all-over powder person but this it's so like I can see it doesn't have it looks matte like it doesn't have any reflex in it but somehow looks just so luminous when I put it on my skin like even there look at that like it's just a loom it just gives me very luminous vibes so if you see like I put it right here it's just very nice it's very lightweight I don't see any like flashback issues happening and then the last item is the loose powder the only situation I had was within the first few minutes of wearing it it was dry um, and I could feel it kind of absorbing the moisture I did have down here but it didn't leave me feeling crusty or cakey or tight which is what I like I like to feel that it's doing what it needs to do but it's not leaving me with none of the natural oils and stuff that I need to keep my skin looking and feeling hydrated I will say I w if you don't absolutely have to have this I would skip this solely because six grams for $30 to me is outrageous I you know this is a whole palette for 34 bucks I don't find that to be ridiculous this one I mean it's kind of pricey I feel like a lot of her stuff is kind of pricey for a smaller brand I understand she's an Ulta now I understand she has a you know a bunch of different lines but I still feel as though she's kind of like a she's an influencer brand and to me I feel like they should still be very affordable I think that this is a little bit excessive charging $30 for six grams of powder and you don't realize that it's so small until you actually like look in the frosted you can see how tiny the powder itself is if you're gonna get one I would definitely get the palette because I feel like it's more versatile you have more color options for summer for fall if you change colors whatever it might be wear this one you're just kind of stuck with it and again it's six grand so if you're a baker and you like cake that on you're gonna go through this powder like nobody's business and I just don't think that it is necessary to have so if there's one thing I could say skip it would be this powder I did however want to tell you guys I finished the look with the Jaclyn liquid lipstick and I did it in gratitude which is actually one of my favorite colors from the collection I just wanted to kind of give it like a more moot brown situation since I did like the sunsetty vibe look but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video make sure you comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are have you bought this I know that it came out a while ago I just got it I actually ordered two different times because I wanted to get both of the palettes and I forgot to put the one in my cart so it took forever to get here but let me know what your thoughts are do you have it are you not getting it and again I don't want to hear like I'm not getting it because she's trash we just don't do that if you don't like her that's fine I know that there's been some issues and some scandals and I don't agree with them however we don't back women we don't bash other women on this channel it's not what we're here for we're here for the makeup we're here to enjoy each other's company and here for the makeup so if you don't like her and you don't like her things then just you can just go ahead and you could just skip past this you don't even have to comment you just say you know nope, I'm not getting it and we can just be done with that but if you are getting it or you do have it tell me what your thoughts are do you like it and also as always please 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 whatever telling me how it worked for you please let us know down below what your skin type is whether it's dry oily normal just because that kind of helps me and all the other people down there looking whether or not like for their skin type I only have dry skin I'm only ever gonna have dry skin I will probably never have to fight with oily skin so it helps to kind of get different opinions and different types of skin and what you have and whatnot but so, as always guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do new videos every single week and I have started doing shorts which is kind of like a weird situation but I'm trying them I'm trying them so let me know if you haven't seen them go over and check them out I think you can only view them on mobile though but as always guys I will see you on the next one bye